<laughs> Last week, I worked on this patch of aeoniums. And what I did was to clean up a bit of the, the lower areas because they were starting to creep out towards the steps. This Aeonium Starburst is leaning forward and it's and is in danger of falling over so as you can see there's lots of space behind it so I'm thinking that I might need to hoist it towards the fence or maybe have uh, have something push against it I've got an idea we have some dry branches here this is from one of the bushes that I removed a while back and some of the tips, some of the branches are Y-shaped, so I might be able to use this for as a as a holder. So I need to chop off some of them. I already got one, but I might need to chop off another just in case. So I'll go do that now. This should be good enough. I think I can push back the Aeonium Sunburst a bit and just give it some crutches to lean on. So that's what I'm going to do now. I've got them held back by some twigs for now but I think I might need to clean up some of the lower some of the lower offsets maybe I could get rid of this 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 and this one do you agree Zaki no <laughs> yeah I should definitely do something about the bottom ones because they're starting they're creeping out into the steps so if I remove the lower ones I need to think about what I'll replace it with I could complete the theme and just go with more of the variegated Haworthy which is also known as Kiwi or dream color I still have a few more somewhere But I'm hesitant about chopping the, the offsets right now because it's pretty much summer already. But I've done this before. I guess in interest of keeping the design nice or visually pleasant then I think I don't have a choice but to do it. This is where I'm keeping the other variegated Haworthy. I wonder if there's others. I've got one small pot. I'm not sure if I still have more on the ground. I would prefer picking up those that are in the ground. Because that way they have better root systems. Zaki, can you help me find them? 
No. <laughs> you just want to play with the wheelbarrow? Okay. Play. I think I might have some in the front. So let's look for them. There are some here. They're a bit burnt on the edges, but I'm going to leave them here because they're already established. So it would be a pain. It would be a pity if I give them any more stress than they are already now. So there's now a huge gap where I picked the offsets. I'm not sure if I'm going to fill it up now because it's summer and this is an aeonium spot. I think I'm going to leave this for now. This is how it looks like from afar and as you can see there's an annoying aeonium gap in the middle. I can't decide what I want to put there other than the Haworthy. So I guess, I guess I'll take some time to think about it first. Here are some of the aeoniums that I picked just now. And as you can see, the lower leaves readily fall off. Well, not this one because I removed them already. Here. That's perfectly natural, that's perfectly normal because at this time of year aeoniums go dormant and they don't they don't replace the, the older leaves as fast as they usually do during winter. Well I did mention dry leaves and if you peek there's lots of them down here. Well as luck may have it I I just realized I planted some Aeonium decorum down here. The decorum is looks kind of similar to the Haworthy. The, the difference are subtle but they have the same general look. It's hard to tell while, while they're young I guess. So these decorums have been etiolating because they've been hidden under, under the big plants for so long. I'm going to leave them there for now until they bounce back to health because I think it will stress them too much if I, I move them now. They're still so young. So you can see I've got crutches. Here's the crutches that I made. So this one is supporting this Aeonium Blushing Beauty while the other one is supporting the Starburst. It's nice seeing the Aeonium Gucci Ballerina peeking out from the bottom because they've been hidden for so long and now it's finally their chance for some sun. I hope they don't burn. That reminds me, this decoro might burn, so I need to keep a close eye on them. On second thought, I've decided that I'll plant them in.
And as you know, I've been working on the arc in the past episodes. This is why I think it's important that I clear up the path around the aeoniums. That way it won't be too tight around the arc, since after all, it's still a footpath. It's supposed to be summer now, but we've been having rains and cold days despite that. And part of me is wondering whether whether the Aeoniums think it is winter again. But in any case, these cold and rainy days are very much welcome because this gives the Aeoniums a chance to recover for a bit. Because as you know, they don't really grow during summer. Regarding the arc, as you know, I'm still stalling because I'm still gathering ideas. Right now, I'm doing everything else that, that I can think of in preparation for the arc. So I've done some cleanups. Maybe next, what I would be doing is to gather all of the plants that I intend to use here. So maybe harvest some of the pups and a bunch of other stuff. Basically anything that I can think about. enjoy this video please hit like yeah yeah and please subscribe to my channel to get more to get notified of more videos like this as you know right now I'm pushing out videos at a lower frequency so one video every four days and this will probably go on until January you could check out my social accounts such as my Facebook Instagram and Twitter I usually yeah. post photos yeah. on Facebook and Instagram and and most of the notifications go, th go through Twitter, so whenever I add new videos to the playlist or upload new videos, they usually appear over there. Since I'm still working on the ARC, please, please keep those suggestions coming, and I hope we end up doing something really nice. Yeah. Zach, say bye! Bye!